If you ask most people what the causes of cardiovascular disease and heart attacks are, um, it's a safe bet that most of them are going to tell you high cholesterol. So the so-called cholesterol hypothesis has been around for decades. Um, and the, the cholesterol hypothesis is the hypothesis that high cholesterol, meaning high LDL cholesterol and high total cholesterol, are what causes our um, coronary arteries to become uh, clogged up with, uh, with plaque and which causes heart disease and um, uh, heart attacks. Um, there have been a number of studies over the past uh, 15, 20 years that have debunked the cholesterol hypothesis and have demonstrated that not only does cholesterol total and LDL not um, increase your risk of cardiovascular disease and, and, and heart attack, but um, <clears throat> they show an inverse relationship between our LDL and total cholesterol levels and the rate of all-cause all mortality, meaning uh, dying from any cause. So what that means is that um, the lower our total cholesterol and our LDL cholesterol go, the greater likelihood is that we're going to die of, of any cause, whether that's heart disease or diabetes or cancer, or et cetera, et cetera, and vice versa. So meaning that the higher our LDL cholesterol and total cholesterol go, the lower our all-cause mortality rate. Um, sounds kind of interesting, uh, seems kind of interesting, and not what most of us would typically expect um, based on what the media has told us um, uh, year in, year out uh, for the past several decades, um, what our, our doctors and physicians and the medical establishment have been telling us, uh, but it looks like as more and more research comes out that this is a false hypothesis and a false narrative, and that LDL cholesterol and total cholesterol are not predictive and are not associated and related to heart attacks and cardiovascular disease. So the newest research study that came out um, just came out on October 20th, and it's called uh, the association between hypercholesterolemia or high cholesterol and mortality risk among patients referred for a cardiac imaging test. So basically they, uh, they looked at 111,000 uh, patients and um, looked to see um, their cholesterol levels, their, uh, their other blood work, and um, how they were progressing throughout time with regards to, um, to arterial plaque and to eventual uh, heart attacks and death. Um, and what they found is that hypertension, meaning uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, and smoking were all associated with increased mortality or with a higher death rate in each of the, um, the, the patient groups. So there were four patient groups of those 111,000 patients. Um, so that means, yes, high blood pressure, diabetes, and smoking all do cause and are associated with uh, an increased risk of heart attacks and cardiovascular disease. Uh, however, the study showed that hypercholesterolemia or high cholesterol levels were not associated with increased mortality. Uh, their conclusion was among a broad spectrum of patients referred for a variety of cardiac tests and ranging from low to high clinical risk, hypercholesterolemia or high cholesterol was not associated with an increased mortality risk. So that's an interesting finding. Um, pro you probably haven't heard about that in the, the news media. Um, these research papers and studies that, that, sh that show that there is not a connection between cholesterol and heart disease risk tend to not receive media coverage. Um, the pharmaceutical companies don't like them too much, and uh, the pharmaceutical companies are the main advertisers of, uh, of the media. So um, they tend to, um, these types of reports and studies tend not to receive too much uh, media coverage or press coverage. Um, and this recent study from last week isn't the only studies I mentioned. There's been uh, a number of other uh, major studies, very large scale studies that were done. Uh, the first of which, um, uh, of three, which I'd like to note here is from 2003. Um, and what they did was they looked at 4,500 men and women aged 65 to 84 in Italy and um, analyzed the relationship between their total cholesterol levels and all-cause mortality. 
Uh, the results of the study were that low total cholesterol was associated with a higher risk of death. Um, and the conclusion was that subjects with low total cholesterol levels, meaning uh, lower than 189 milligrams per deciliter, are at a higher risk of dying, even when many related factors have been taken into account. So this is one study that shows that not only does cholesterol not cause heart disease or heart attacks, but um, <clears throat> that low total cholesterol uh, increases the chance that you're going to die of any cause. Uh, the next study that I'd like to, to point out is from 2013, and it's called Association of Lipoprotein Levels with Mortality in Subjects Aged 50 and Above Without Previous Diabetes or Cardiovascular Disease. And this looked at um, 118,000 people aged 50 and above um, and analyzed how they were doing health-wise from 1999 until 2007. The result of the study was that all-cause mortality was lower in the groups with total cholesterol or LDL cholesterol above the recommended levels. Again, if you have a high total cholesterol level or a high LDL to, uh, cholesterol level, your, your chances of dying from any cause was lower than people who had a lower uh, total cholesterol or LDL cholesterol rate. Uh, the conclusion was these associations indicate that high lipoprotein levels or cholesterol levels do not seem to be def definitely harmful in the general population. And another major study that came out in 2015 uh, was called a lack of an association or an inverse association between low density lipoprotein cholesterol and mortality in the elderly. And this was a review of 19 cohort studies that included 30 total cohorts with a total of 68,094 elderly people uh, over the age of 60. The conclusion of this um, massive co cohort study was that high LDL cholesterol is inversely associated with mortality in most people over 60 years. And uh, this finding is inconsistent with the cholesterol hypothesis um, that cholesterol, particularly LDL cholesterol, is inherently atherogenic or causes um, a plaque buildup and uh, cardiovascular disease. Uh, and their conclusion further was since elder, elderly people with high LDL live as long or longer than those with low LDL, uh, our analysis provides reason to question the validity of the cholesterol hypothesis. So it's interesting that these major studies uh, which have been done and have analyzed tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of uh, people, not only do they not find a connection between total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol levels and um, uh, mortality uh, uh, rate, an increase in, uh, in all-cause mortality or an even mortality from cardiovascular disease, there's n not only is there no connection between high cholesterol and uh, increased risk of heart disease or cardiovascular disease, but there's an inverse relationship, so meaning that the, that the lower your total and LDL cholesterol levels go, the higher risk of dying from anything, from any cause. So um, simple logic from these studies show that you want high total cholesterol and high LDL cholesterol, um, which is the opposite, again, of what we're told by the media, by doctors, and by the medical uh, community. And... Um, I'm not sure why that is, but I think it might have to do with the fact that uh, statins, the statin drugs, pharmaceuticals, uh, which lower LDL cholesterol and have been prescribed uh, for, uh, I think, several decades now, um, their annual sales are about $14 billion. So that's a lot of money that's made by the pharmaceutical companies by uh, the media who the pharmaceutical companies uh, advertise on uh, the media platforms. And that's a lot of nice perks and gifts and so forth that uh, physicians and doctors who are prescribing statins receive. Um, not sure if that has anything to do with the fact that these large studies are overlooked, which show that um, there's an inverse relationship between cholesterol levels and heart disease risk. But, um, but I know for myself, and my family members and anyone I know, uh, I would recommend that nobody ever takes a statin and that we not be worried about total and LDL cholesterol levels. Uh, what we want to be um, focused on, if we want to minimize cardiovascular disease, uh, heart disease risk, is overall metabolic health. 
and the markers for metabolic health are with regards to cholesterol, triglycerides, and HDL. So if we're metabolically healthy, we want high HDL and low triglycerides. Uh, the other metabolic markers for uh, metabolic health are blood pressure. So we want average or low bl blood pressure. We don't want high blood pressure. Um, blood glucose levels, so blood sugar levels, uh, and fasting insulin levels. We want low uh, stable blood sugar levels. We want low fasting insulin, le insulin levels. And we want to not be overweight or obese. We want to be, um, you know, have a, a healthy a physique. So if those five things uh, are good, I mean, high L HDL, low triglycerides, um, average or, or low blood pressure, um, uh, low blood, lower stable blood sugar levels, uh, and low insulin cell levels, and we're not overweight or obese, we are metabolically healthy, and so we're in the very low risk category for cardiovascular disease. And um, whether our LDL or total cholesterol is high or low or average, it's not relevant at all uh, with regards to cardiovascular disease risk. Uh, with regards to all-cause mortality, dying of anything as we get older, uh, according to these studies, we actually want to have healthy, high uh, total and LDL cholesterol levels because that is protective uh, of uh, our body from a variety of, of pathogens, diseases, and, and so forth. Um, I hope you found this video to be useful. Uh, if you did, please hit the thumbs up. If you think uh, someone else can benefit from um, this information, please share the video with them. And go ahead and click on the subscribe button so that you can be alerted when I put out uh, future videos on similar topics um, and topics that are, are connected to uh, to our health, phys both physical and mental, our athletic performance, fitness, fitness levels, and body composition. Thank you.